I get requests to cover budget gaming gear all the time, so when my new friend from Chinese brand Grand Valor reached out to me to review a couple of their products, I figured why not? Today, I'm taking a look at the new 40 US dollar mechanical keyboard called the Mechanical Eagle Z77. First, let's take a look at the design of this thing. Obviously, it's a 10 keyless board and there aren't any additional macro keys or MIDI keys on the keyboard. There is, however, a function key and a wealth of additional functions that can be found on the F keys, as well as lighting settings under the number keys and on insert, home and end. Windows lock is also available and you can increase the brightness of all of the backlights with the arrow keys. The function keys all worked for me with no additional software or driver installation, and the lighting controls work the same way. I'm not sure if it was necessary to have a different lighting setting for each number key, and honestly I couldn't figure out what some of them did, but I guess they do a decent job of giving you customization without the hassle of installing software. The function on the insert key seemed to be the best, toggling through a range of cool lighting effects. Now I bet up to this point you thought this might have been an RGB keyboard, and I don't blame you, I thought that too. But then I realised it's actually a multi-colour keyboard instead. Each row has a different coloured backlight, giving a rainbow effect from top to bottom. So if you like to have all of your backlights in uniform, you're out of luck here. Rather than try and explain all of the lighting effects available, I'm going to just show you guys what they look like. Now the build of the keyboard actually feels quite good. The backplate is made from a solid feeling aluminium with a curved ridge at the front and the Eagle logo at the top. The overall look is really simple, but I think the keycaps take away from this a little. They use an unusual font, which looks pretty good, but that'll be subjective. What makes it look clutter, however, is the secondary functions, especially along the number row. And for me, this made the keyboard look a little confusing and... Yeah, cluttered, as I said. The underside is all one piece and it's made from plastic with two wing emblems included. There's two flip down rubberized feet attached and two small rubber pads at the front, so standard stuff here. The switches on the model I received were blue switches and it clearly copies of the Cherry MX Blues. They gave the same loud clicky feedback and as a fan of the Cherry MX Blues, I actually found these really great to use. I can't comment on the reliability over time obviously, but as far as I can tell, they seem good. I was also impressed with the low amount of key wobble on the keyboard too. For those that like a sound test, this is what they sounded like. Overall, I was actually surprisingly impressed by this budget mechanical keyboard. To be honest, I didn't expect big things coming from a Chinese brand that I'd never heard of and with the price tag being so low. I mentioned this was a budget keyboard, remember? Well, you're probably wondering how budget I'm talking. On Amazon, you can pick this baby up for just $39.59, making it far and away the cheapest mechanical keyboard I've ever used. Sure, it is a 10 keyless keyboard, and you have to be happy with having rainbow backlights, but I honestly found this a delight to type on, and for those that want copies of other Cherry MXs, it also comes in black, brown, red, and purple switches according to the box. There's a lot of functions available by default too, and it was nice not having to install any software to use them all. Oh yeah, and 87 key anti-ghosting N key rollover is supported too. So all up, I've got to say this offers the best value pure typing experience I've ever come across. If your budget is tight and you want to just have that mechanical keyboard feel and feedback, then this thing could be the go. For under 40 US dollars, I can't really bring myself to complain about almost anything, and even without backlighting, it would have been a good price. Unfortunately, I couldn't find anywhere to buy this in Australia. Maybe I'll have to import some. Do you guys know of any similarly valued mechanical keyboards? Let me know in the comments. I'm your host Matt as always, and I'll see you guys next time. YouTubers like me depend on your support to continue improving the quality and content of our videos. To support the channel directly, consider becoming a patron to also get access to a heap of cool rewards and exclusive giveaways. Also, don't forget you can check prices and buy the products I looked at in this video through the Amazon links in the video description below.
Thank you kindly for supporting me and the Hardware Unbox channel. It means a lot to me and I really do appreciate it. And in return, I'll continue to work as hard as I can to keep producing the content you enjoy.